Hi third graders, I hope you're doing great. I wanted to come on because always at the end of the school year, I like to share a few last read alouds that are just kind of like picture books, um, just to kind of like conclude our year. And I usually will spend like the last week of school sharing a different book a day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share a few books on this same recording um, that I would, would have shared with you in class. The first one I wanna read to you is I Wish You More. And this is written by Amy Rosenthal and Tom Lichenheld. And I want you to listen closely because these are some of the wishes that I have for you as you move on to fourth grade. You probably see behind me, I have some of our party decorations ready for today too. All right, I wish you more. I wish you more ups than downs. I wish you more gives than takes. I wish you more tippy toes than deep. I wish you more we than me. Let's see what else I wish for you. I wish you more hugs than Uggs, most definitely. I wish you many hugs in your life. I wish you more woohoo than whoa. <laughs> I wish you more will than hill. So you can see they have all that will. They're going to pull that all the way up. I wish you more can than not. I wish you more snowflakes than tongue. I wish you more pause than fast forward. Remember to take some time to pause in life. Enjoy the little things. I wish you more umbrellas than raindrops. <laughs> I wish you more bubbles than bath. It's always fun to have more bubbles. I wish you more treasures than pockets. Always be on the lookout for different treasures. Never know where you'll find them. And I wish you more stories than stars. And I wish all of this for you because you are everything that I could wish for. All of you third graders are everything that I could possibly wish for and more. So that was our first one that I wanted to share with you, some of the wishes that I have for you. The next one I wanna share with you is only one you. And in this whole world, there really is truly only one you. And this is written by Linda Kranz. I love the beginning of this book because they have all of these inspirational, positive thinking wording like, be enthusiastic, smiles warm the heart, they're contagious, anything is possible, all you have to do is try. Just so many great, great words that we need to remember in life. All right. Only one you. It's time, Papa said. I think it is, Mama agreed. Time for what? Artie asked. Papa's voice softened. To share some wisdom. It's a little story about some fish. Okay, now listen to all of these things of wisdom. Okay. Always be on the lookout for a new friend. 
These are things that I want you to do in life too. Look for the beauty wherever you go and keep the memory of it with you. Blend in when you need to, but stand out when you have the chance. Find your own way. You don't have to follow the crowd. So my mom used to always say that, she would always tell my brother and I about if there's a path, you don't have to take the path. Make your own path, make your own trail. You can veer off and that's what this, this point of this wisdom is. So you don't have to always follow the crowd and do what everyone else is doing. You can be your own person and go the way you want to go, what you believe in. Know when to speak, but know when to listen. And that's very important in life. It's always important to listen to what others say and how others feel. No matter how you look at it, there is so much to discover. No matter where you go in life, there's always going to be things to discover and enjoy. And if you make a wrong turn, just circle back. So if you end up when you're making your own trail and you go and you're like, oh, it's okay, turn around. You can always go back. If something gets in your way, move around it. So all through life, you're going to have obstacles. And something might get in your way. And in this case, it's this hook with the worm. But just move right around it. Set aside some quiet time to relax and reflect every day. Take the time to reflect and think about your day and think about yourself. Appreciate art. It's always all around you. Make wishes on the stars in the nighttime sky. So when you're looking up, find that big dipper. Maybe you'll see a shooting star and make a wish on it. All the fish. Thank you for listening, Mama said. We hope you remember, Papa winked and whispered. We know this is a lot to think about. Artie did a backward somersault and smiled. He was excited to go into the world with what he had just learned. Wait for me, he shouted to all of his friends. Before he swam away, he turned back to his parents and said, I will remember. Mama kissed Artie on the top of his head. There's only one you in this great big world, she said. Make it a better place. And third graders, I know that all of you can make our world a better place. I believe in each of you and I know that you have it in you to make this world a better place than what it is today. And... I have one more that I'd like to share with you. And if you remember, I started off our school year, uh, second or third day reading Mrs. Spitzer's Garden. And it's by Edith Patu. And I told you when we read this, I said, I want you to think about what the story is talking about. It's going to talk about her garden, but the garden is, and what you told me at the beginning of the year is that the garden is representing students or children. Okay, so I always like to read this once more and listen in. And now maybe it will make even more sense as a whole school year has come to a close. So here we go. Mrs. Spitzer's Garden. Mrs. Spitzer is a teacher. She's in room 108 at Trent Mott Elementary School.
Inside room 108 are six tables, four circles, two rectangles. There's a rug in one corner with red hopscotch squares and checkerboards woven into bright colors. There's also a size chart, a birthday chart, a gerbil in a cage, a housekeeping and dress up corner, a row of 22 pegs for coats and backpacks, and in another corner, Mrs. Spitzer's garden. At the end of summer, Mr. Merrick, the principal, walks down the hall to Mrs. Spitzer's room and gives her a pack of seats. Mrs. Spitzer consults her calendar and plans her daily schedule and checks her tools. She makes sure that the soil is just right and light and well-drained with plenty of room for sprouting and growing. And then Mrs. Spitzer plants the seeds. She waters them, feeds them, and she makes sure they get plenty of sun. And the seeds begin to sprout. And as the plants grow, Mrs. Spitzer watches them closely and she checks daily for weeds and pests. <laughs> she knows that different plants need different things and that each plant has its own shape. Some of the plants grow quickly, pushing upward and eager and impatient. Some grow more slowly, unfolding themselves a little bit by bit. Some plants sprout thin and tall, and some are bushy and wide, and some are bold. They're all brightly colored, saying, look at me, look at me. And some are quiet, like the color of the earth. A few are wildflowers, and they'll grow anywhere that you put them. But some, they need gentle care and a special watching over. And as the seasons change, Mrs. Spitzer tends her garden. And then the year is over and her job is done. But the plants, they keep growing, growing and uncurling their stems and stretching their leaves outward and showing their faces to the sun. And Mrs. Spitzer, she puts away her tools, her daily calendar, and her plan book. And soon, another year will start. And Mr. Merrick will once again walk down the hall with a packet of seeds for Mrs. Spitzer. She'll dust off her tools and till the soil. and a new garden will begin. Just like you'll be moving on and going to fourth grade. So those are a few books. To, um, today when we meet for our last Google Meet, I will be sharing The Last Day Blues. And if this looks familiar to you, if you remember we read First Day Jitters, or uh, the first day of school, and we will be reading the next book in the series, Last Day Blues. So we'll be sharing this as a class. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed some of these amazing picture books to kind of wrap up our school year. And um, I will be talking to you soon. Bye, friends.